It's a mess. They told me about you because uh, we did. Oh, you want to know about me? Yes, girl. So I came to Sweden as an au pair, and um, my story is also kind of like complicated. And I went through a really like depressive stage. Oh. And the man who was the owner of the house, he was like taking. I, I would say like that saved my life. You know, because yeah. it was like really, really hard and I was like depressing and everything, so... Yeah, I mean six months. Six months is really far into yeah. a pregnancy. Yeah. How much do you make uh, monthly on this? You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. Hey girls, we are on my way to the new house. <laughs> and today we are going to put things together like the last time we were there we just dumped things and I was the exhaustion that I was going through was extreme so now we had some time to rest and finally it's weekend and I have my mains we're going to go there and put things together put some IKEA furniture and stuff like restructure things maybe yeah so I'm going to take you guys along so we're just gonna hang out together today it's a mess. <laughs> Good progress. Somebody there is working so hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, handsome. Show off. <laughs> Now we got the rug situated. We just did that bad boy in here. And that bad boy is fixing it. <laughs> You're not a bad boy? You're a bad boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, I believe you. Hey girls, um, today is a very exciting day. Uh, it's my first meet and greet with the ladies from the community and I look forward to meeting them. It basically just, it's just like an introduction. Mm, I'm introducing them to each other and we're getting to know each other. So it's super, super fun. Uh, it's a really nice opportunity to get to know each other better and to just connect because remember this is a community and it's about connections and meeting the right people who along the way could be beneficial to your journey and your path so this is super super fun and then tomorrow it's even more fun because i'm going to have my first ever interview for the club my first ever interview for the members club and oh my god please if you're not in you really you're really missing out but i'll insert some clips here so for now i'm set and ready to meet you ladies hello <laughs> Oh my god, this is scaring me. Yeah, it's very sad. Is it family? Yeah, it's family. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, who is it? <gasps> oh my god. Aching. Hi. I just heard what happened and I'm in so much shock. I. I, I, I don't know. I mean, so much shock. It is so painful. I tell me. I don't want to hear what you want to tell me. And she hung up. <laughs> no. Honestly guys, I have glasses on because before we start this, I just got a very crazy news which puts me a little bit off. However, I'm on my way to do a very... God, I don't know what I'm saying. I feel so stupid. Okay. Hey girls, 
folks welcome to the channel thank you so much for being here today I am so excited to bring to you one of the most inspiring people I've ever met listen this lady she's an entrepreneur she is a model and she's an all-rounded beautiful soul she's worked for Netflix she's worked for HBO she's been on Vogue STV and she has built a successful cake, cake designing business that originated from an actual pain that she had in her life she is a real example of turning your pain into passion and making it into something incredible and bigger you guys ladies and gentlemen I am so happy to introduce to you the CEO of Petite Pleasure which you'll correct me if I'm saying wrong Miss Kumba yes oh <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Miss Kumba is right here with us yes okay Kumba thank you I'm so much for having me Cheers. Cheers. What is your business and what's the name? Because I think I said it wrong. How do you say it? Petit plaisir. Petit plaisir. No, that, that's, that's a four or like even a three. Uh, un petit. petit plaisir. Un petit plaisir. Petit. 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 <laughs> petit plaisir. Plaisir. Plaisir? No, like, no, 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 plaisir, like pleasure. Petit plaisir. Petit plaisir. Oui, très bien. Merci. Let's say that right. C'est super, c'est super. And Petit plaisir is a cake design company, yes. company founded by an incredible black woman who we are speaking to today. Okay, so tell us who you are right yeah. now and okay. um, what you do and what you've done so far. Okay, so okay, so I'm just going to speak English, but you, I'm French, so English is not that good, okay? It's good. I will I try, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. Okay, so I moved uh, to Sweden in 2017. Mm -hmm. Before I came here in Sweden, I've been studying human resources. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Philippines for four months. I've oh. been doing like some um, voluntariat, uh -huh. which is like helping orphanage, you know, and then like just building like some uh, um, school for the for the kids and everything. So it was like really enriching. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. the... We love a queen with a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> so then after that, I came here mm -hmm. uh, in Sweden, and I couldn't find like any job because I couldn't speak English, and oh. my Swedish was really bad. Right, right. Yeah. Oh my god, that's an interesting beginning. <laughs> yeah, that was like <laughs> really hard at the beginning. So I've been like teaching French, working at the school, cleaning the floor, you know, doing like all the, the small job. Um, and I was like actually really proud of that because mm -hmm. I feel like this is, I mean, I'm going to speak about that after that, but mm -hmm. I just feel like that make me like really strong and I know now the value of like really working, you know. Mm, hard work. Yeah, exactly. So then I get pregnant. Um, one year after that, mm -hmm. I, one year after I came here in Sweden, and um, I couldn't like find a job. So I was like just doing like a lot of interview, you know, like with like human resources, trying to speak like French with them, but mm -hmm. it was like not helping me. Um, so when I get pregnant, mm -hmm. I was still craving like for French pastries. Mm -hmm. which is like pain au raisin. I don't know if you know like the rolls, it's kind of like uh, cinnamon buns. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I couldn't find any in Sweden, so I tried to make my own. Mm -hmm. And after some time, I think I, that kept me like six months to make my like, you know, the, the pain au raisin I have like when I was young. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, a long process. And then after that, unfortunately, I lost the baby. Oh, wait. Yeah. When you were six months pregnant. Yes, I was like six months pregnant and I lost the babies. You know, six months it was like really hard for me. Yeah. So, so it was like actually like just a therapy for me. So that, I, I would say like that saved my life, you know, because yeah. it was like really, really hard and I was like depressing and everything, so. Yeah, I mean six months. Six months is really bad into a pregnancy. Yeah. I believe in God so much and I just feel like, you know, I, I may like say like this is really hard, mm -hmm. but the way like it gives me pretty pleasure. Yeah. That is like my new baby. You know, every business definitely has a challenge. Yeah. And as a black woman coming from a foreign country, not I could imagine the amount of challenges you went through. Could you please tell us what challenges you went through and how you probably navigated your way yeah. around them? 
absolutely so as you say like i was not speaking english so i was mostly like making pastries for the french community here in sweden yeah uh, which it was like more easier for me <laughs> <laughs> because is it to communicate and know what they yeah, want exactly. yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah. So, but when I just like jump into like cake design, it was like more, you know, um, resting people because I try to have like a selective mm -hmm. customers. Yeah. Um, so it's mostly like Swedish now and an expat and, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but the way like I learn, it's like to fail. Uh, oh, because I do a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. as I am myself though. So, you know, it, mm -hmm. it was like really hard because you have like to just try a lot. So you have to be patient. Yeah. You, you have to be patient. Passion. Patient. Patient. Okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah, passion. <laughs> You're welcome. I have like to try like the same recipe like so many times yeah. to just find like the perfect consistency, for example, for my cake. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I remember like a, a small like tips, but I remember like I've been like making a wedding cake for like a customers and uh, I didn't like at this time uh, mm -hmm. when it was really hot. I have like to put some uh, noodles, which is like uh, something like to stay the cake like in you know that yeah. make like this yeah exactly yeah. the cake not going to fail. Yeah. Uh, so I've been like driving for 40, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and when I came there, mm -hmm. my cake fell. <gasps> oh my god! And this is a wedding. Yeah. That was horrible. I was like just crying like a baby, you know, I was like, I'm going to stop making cakes, this is not for me. No. You know? You, you yeah, yeah, th that is hard. That is an epic, like, that, that is hard. That was really hard. But oh like, my... <laughs> Guys, <laughs> she, she has made a wedding cake. She is driving for 30 or 40 minutes on the way to deliver this cake. And the cake crumbles. Yes. Yeah, that was like the most horrible day of my life. Do you know one of your favorite things that I saw and I was, and I was just like, this is my girl right here, right now. <laughs> it is the vulva cupcake. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make them? That is actually like so long to make them, but uh, we, we can try like next time. Yeah, we will yeah. definitely try. And yeah. if you're not a member of the club, you're missing out, please come to the Ray of Success community and join us because we are definitely making vulvas in there, okay? Yes. Any more vulvas, I'm, you know, it's yep. pr happy pride, you all. <laughs> so if you want something for your bachelorette party, so I just have to show you guys a little bit of a glimpse of what I'm talking about But we're definitely making that in the members club and we'll have a full recipe just for the members So you better be inside the club because otherwise you're missing out on some goodness <laughs> Exactly and what is like amazing it's like you can do like all the colors you want All the shape, all the form, everything mm, you know? I just want like dark brown and pink Okay yes. That would work <laughs> Chocolate and pink. <laughs> no, that is perfect. Best. Yes, definitely. Representation matters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speak about social media. Okay. How do you use social media to like? I mostly like because I don't have a physical store. Mm -hmm. So like my Instagram, it's like my shop. You yeah. know, so it's yeah. like where people can like choose what they want. Yeah. You know, they can get inspired like if they want something like really unique. Yeah. Um, so I would say like, yeah, this is definitely helped me a lot. Uh, Which of your cakes are you the most proud of? Oh, um, I would say like my first wedding cake. Your first wedding cake? Yeah. Oh, okay, can you show us? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, wow, for the first cake, this is really good. Right? I think it's really amazing. But speaking of that, could you kindly show us the first cake you ever made? Oh my God, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh, precious Arvid. Oh. It's like a classic mud cake or something. I mean, for a first cake, you, you try. That was nice. Yes. It was a birthday. It was like, now I feel so bad for the customer, you know, when no, I see it. No, not bad. <laughs> but I just want to say, like, thank you so much for trusting me because if we don't, like, do it, mm -hmm. I will never try. Yeah. <laughs> and he was actually really happy of that. Oh my god, okay, I I'll pop it there for you guys, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, but now I'd love to see like your best cake ever that you just like, wow, this one, I slayed, I slayed this, okay, I will show you, I'm like so creative with this one, I was like, do this <gasps> have any inspiration, oh my god, 
And when I thought I was the like, so details. crazy. Yeah. The details. Wow. Is everything in here edible? Everything. Wow. Okay, guys, I gotta show you that. Yeah, I'm impressed. No, but thank you so much, Kumba, for sharing such an inspiring message and also an inspiring journey. I'd just like to know what message would you have for aspiring entrepreneurs, especially those who are moving into a foreign country and trying to establish themselves? Mm. Yeah. Um, my message will be just be confident and just fail because it's so important to fail to learn. Yeah. And just do it mm. because if you never like do it, you are ne never going to know. Right. So just like. Believe in yourself and then jump. Believe in yourself and jump. Yes. Stop doubting yourself. Stop over questioning. Just get in, be ready to fail and keep going. Yes, definitely. Wow, that is so that is so powerful. So are you ready for us to maybe go in the kitchen and cook something? Because I'd really, really love at least at the end of this conversation know how to bake a thing without burning the house. Yes, definitely. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to our kitchen now. So, <laughs> Kumba is going to teach me how to bake something meaningful. Yes. Because the last time I tried to bake, the fire alarm went off. I, actually, that's me trying to boil water all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to just chat and uh, make something delicious. So, what yes. are we making today, Kumba? So, today we are going to make some uh, tarte à la Tarte al bigou? Al abrico, uh, which is like a habrico. Um, habrico? <laughs> habrico. <laughs> You're welcome. Habrico pie with like almond and pistachio. Yes, abrico pie. Yes. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. So, uh, it's so easy to make it. Okay. So, what you are going to do is taking the butter, taking the spatula, and then just take everything and put it here. Can't say I never did it. Um, ooh, how it's, much is this? It's 100 grams. The recipe for this, if you like it, you'll find it at the Ray of Success. I will give it to you guys just on the website so anyone can access it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. They told me about you because uh, we did. Oh, you want to know about me? Yes, girl. Okay, you are nosy too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what did you like to know, baby? Everything. Why did you come to Sweden? So, I came to Sweden as an au pair, and um, my story is also kind of like complicated. So, I was living with this family that was very different. Different is the word. Okay. And I went through a really like depressive stage. Oh. How much do you make uh, monthly on this? Oh. So now what I can say is like I'm very, very, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, we love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that life in Sweden is really, really expensive. So if someone says they're comfortable, you can do the math in your head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like you're able to travel. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I can like have fun and just travel and I'm good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. She's not struggling. No. Not anymore. Not anymore? <laughs> I was last year. <laughs> <laughs> but how long did it take you to um, be in a place where you are very comfortable? How do you like uh, manage to um, handle the finances? Like, I mean, okay, now I'm going to pay myself this, I'm going to invest in the business. So, how do you do that? I mostly like make cake every day. Yeah. So, my price is like between 150 euros mm -hmm. to uh, 1,000 1, 1, 1, 1, euros. Yeah, 1,000, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's like all depends of like, so I can have like cake every day mm -hmm. and then like have like in between and it depends also like the corporate event and everything. So every month I just like see the plus, the plus value yeah. that I can like just benefit and like I can like just save and put like on my company and mm -hmm. stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So. It's a whole process because at the beginning I was like really really bad at that. Yeah. And my husband was like helping me with all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I can like just do it by myself. And yeah. I, yeah. 
reinvest back in the business, pay yourself, go on yes, vacation. Exactly. We went to Brazil, girl. You, you, you are in Jamaica? You are in Brazil. You travel so much. And that is that not the dream? Like being able to do something you love, but yeah. being able to earn money, good money, and be able to travel the world yeah. and still be able to do something you love. Of yeah, course, exactly. there's stress to it, but like, yeah, it is. it's the dream. I love the fault, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever worry, like, oh my God, maybe I won't have customers? Or do you feel like you have so many customers and you're, it's hard for you to be able to get time for all of them? Like, what's your biggest worry in this context um i just feel like every summer like since uh, okay so it start like in april mm -hmm. to november december i would say mm -hmm. and i'm full as fuck it's like too much work and everything she's booked and busy but mm -hmm. like when january come and you know it's really so cold so you don't have like any wedding and anything, no one wants to go out yeah so i feel like what i'm going to do like i don't have any work yeah but it's always something's coming so it's yeah. like companies you know it's like where like all the events happen yeah so i still like have work but i'm always like worried like if i'm still having like so much stuff to do yeah because now i used to do like work all the time all the time yeah and when i have like a, just a little time like for example like half of the day mm -hmm. i feel like oh my god i need to work because you know yeah which is like but now no, yeah now i can i can feel like i have like my base of customers like they came i know like the flow yeah. you know now you have to check if this is a, whoever is gonna eat this i'm sorry it's not kumba's work this is not work of the lord this is my work. <laughs> that is going to be so good. This is not the lot's doing. I don't know what I'm doing, you all. I have a uniform, okay? Yes, she do. <laughs> I was too something. That is done. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to the apricot. Apricot. Okay. Oh, mm we -hmm. Yeah. I wonder how comes I'm glowing, it's because I'm literally eating gold, you all. 